Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you see, uh, yesterday, that the freeze dropped one video, and the video have been trending, reaction and counter-reaction, saying uh, a man should not marry a woman that is below his class, uh, if a woman cannot tell you what she can give you at the end of the month, uh, you shouldn't marry, blah, blah, blah. First of all, from my little knowledge, I understand that Daddy Freeze had a failed marriage some time ago. Maybe he remarried or something, I don't know. Person will get failed marriage has no moral justification to advise anybody concerning marriage. Take it or leave it. I'm not here to diss Daddy Freeze, though, but that's the truth. So to those of you who very dark man carry the video today, not everybody has support him, blah, blah, blah. See, God has created life that a man is supposed to take care of a woman. Yes. No matter what your wife gets, it is your responsibility as a man to take care of your woman. And of course, you just only pray to have a good woman who would see a need to support you. Bible do already talk on, and as so is still be, even a tradition, culture do already talk and say, women are supposed to be helper, not be woman who carry the responsibility of man. It is never so. Women are supposed to be helper. They are not supposed to be the one that will be running the affairs of the home or the affairs of the family. You know, that video, see the video. ...of your property. Stop marrying girls that are hungry. Update the mojafu here in your country. Enough is enough. You marry a girl, you tell her, what are you going to do for me? Start asking, start being bold. What are you going to do for me? How much are you paying me as allowance monthly? See, um, don't marry this one, this one, that one. Wait till that it freeze the top just now. No. Women are not supposed to take responsibility. And some people just talk and say, hey, we men, we will be men. We should be also stating our criteria. Yes, as the women are stating their own. You know, women will always come at these days. I cannot marry a broke guy. Uh, Ebola must get as it be, he must get broad chest, he must this, he must that. So they are trying to switch the narrative to men having the same kind of ideology. It will never work. That is impossible because where God is God did not design man like that. And I need to understand that aspect. Man is not designed that way. Say uh, uh, a woman now, a man will not meet a woman. Say, what can you do for me? Uh, 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 how much can you give me at the end of the month? I don't understand. How that thing even makes sense for here? We can only advise ladies to, you know, try to bring down their sentiment concerning uh, the choice of men they would want to have. You will see ladies openly come and say, I cannot suffer with any man who, which is a wrong ideology. The man you are saying you want to suffer with, in tell you say you inherit suffering, Intel, you say you know what I mean, come up for suffering. We have to set our men straight. As some ladies will come and say, Ah, my way, Ebola, not be like this. I know go feel follow. We need to begin to change our mindset towards things because uh, the failure of marriages in our society today is on the rise. And all these things where they talk up and down for media, so it's one of those things where they contribute to them. It is contributing to it in a very bad manner because. At some point, some people will say they are feminists. I cannot lawyer to any man. I am independent. Like the one with bless the CEO, they promote up and down. You know? I am independent. I cannot this. I cannot that. Marriages are failing. We are not talking about what people can do or how to change the mindset of people towards marriage failure so that marriage can survive. In, in those days, you see our fathers, you see our mothers, they will spend 30 years, 50 years, 60 years 80 years together as husband and wife. Now, death, they separate them. Do you think they didn't have all these challenges we are talking about today? They were financial challenges. There are some home. A lot of people, when they see this video today, you know, say, now your mama, now they, now they also well, well. Some, now your papa, now also well, well. Some, now the two of them. There are families where they say, if their husband, they build us, their wife go join laborers where they do service or that side, just to make sure that they have a house over their head. You know? In those days, if they happen, you will see a woman as the husband they go farm. The woman will follow the husband go farm. As the man they uproot cassava, the woman they put on for bag. They go reach us today. The woman go assemble her children. They pick cassava, fry her, carry her, go market, do this. 
party pursuit, they were supporting each other. You see women being loyal to their husband. You see women respecting their husband as a god. You know, plate where your papa go take chop, they can never use it to serve anybody in the house. Cup where your papa go take drink water, they can never use it to serve anybody in the house. Even your your dad, your there, there are some cupboard. Those days there are cupboard for some people house. Now, now daddy own, you are not bold enough to open it when it's not around or when it doesn't give you the permission. Now those things be the family tie we keep Africa family together those days. But today we are in a Gen Z generation. Our eye don't tear reach back. Yes, our eye don't tear reach back. We are trying to imitate what we are not. We are trying to bring the Western ideology into our own lifestyle. Dear we are destroying everything about us. Then people like Daddy Free, someone who's supposed to be an elder in the society, your own failure, your own mistake. You're supposed to advise people, say, don't go through this path because this path will lead you to failure. See how you will do it. No, you people don't care. Now, everything we will give on a view or traffic or make on a train for media now that they care about. It's not making sense. So we, people should wise up, you know. People should wise up so that we can change the narrative and the course of things. Because the reality is this. If we continue in this way, we will always have problems upon problems. And we're not going to fix all of the finish. You better be wise.